Friends, here we will be talking about field filter and this field filter is useful to access key value or property value. See here, before working with the field filter, we must know what is a key or what is a property and what is the value for it. See suppose if this is JSON data or JSON object, so here version is called key or property and this is the value for it. Same way, statement is a key or property and for that key or property, this entire thing is a value. And if you observe somewhere here, we have action. This is also a key and for that, this is the value. Now we are ready to apply field filter. Now that field filter syntax is simply jq.key then file name. Of course, optionally, we can also provide our JSON string or REST API response. Then this key, we can also mention inside single or double quotes. That means that field filter, we can also apply inside single or double quotes. Now let me go with practice so that we can easily understand. Now from this demo.json, I want to get this value. So this value is mapped with this key or property. Now on this key or property, if you apply field filter, then you will get this value. Now see that jq dot version then demo dot json yes we are getting it same way suppose if i want to get this entire value then for this entire value this is the key just apply it and see the result yes we are getting it and here for this field filter we can apply single or double quotes and best practice is using single quotes instead of double quotes, just in this way. That's fine. See, suppose I have one more JSON data in this way. And here, if you observe, your key or property consists of some space. Then in that case, how you can access the value hello? First, let me try with our existing syntax of JQ with field filter simply dot with space no luck let me try with single quotes or double quotes no luck then how we can access it very simple see whenever your key consists of space or any special character in that case simply use single quotes for your field filter Along with that, just to provide double quotation for your key or property, then you will get it. That's it. See, on your demo.json file, simply we applied our field filter in this way. But we can also apply with the pipeline command, jq.version. Yes, it also works. Or if you remember, we are also having one more syntax for our jq command to provide input yes it also works yeah simply we apply dot but we need field filter so simply key value yes it's working that's fine and we can also chain these keys or properties together to get nested objects so for that syntax is simply jq dot key one dot key two dot key three and so on in case if you have n number of keys recursively in your json data and then finally file name let me go with practice see suppose let me take one rest api now from this response suppose i want to get only this value so this value is mapped with bio key then apply your field filter with jq dot bio and see the result yes we are getting but here i want to get this value only this value that is nothing but the value for your key called birthday now initially if you observe your initial response so this is the value that is mapped with birthday but this entire value is mapped with bio now to access this value, you have to apply recursively field filter. That is like, first you have to apply dot bio, then immediately dot birthday so that you will get this value. Let me apply that and see the result bio dot birthday. 
yes we are getting it so likewise in case if you have recursively uh, some keys and if you want to get somewhere your value then in this way you can chain your keys or properties that's it okay thank you